Welcome back to Table Talk on the Road. Well, Tiana might have been off all week, but that doesn't mean we couldn't take the table out on the road still. So filling in for her this morning is the man usually behind the camera, Russell Shelburne. And I'll tell you what, this is the one to get off the camera because we're <laughs> inside of Quality Dairy's Hunchki factory. That's what we're witnessing today. Oh, yeah. um, and so that is super exciting. Yes, it's officially Poonchki season, and there's no better way to kick that off than to go to the Quality Dairy Headquarter Bakery. And this morning we're joined by Phil Platty at the Quality Dairy Bakery to talk about all things delicious. Good morning. Good morning, you Thank guys. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm very happy to be here with you. Oh, and so are we. I mean, the smells in here are just out of this world. Amazing. Oh, yes. We said that the second we got out of the car, we were like, oh my gosh, it smells so good out here. It smells like a fair. Yes, you can smell it. I can't it. take credit for that one. You said that. Yeah. So let me well, give you credit. <laughs> so why don't you just tell us uh, how long has Quality Dairy been producing fresh punchkis? Well, we've been making fresh punchkis for the Lansing area for over 40 years now. That's amazing. Wow. So long, so long. Yes. But also not long enough. <laughs> no, I, people love them here in this area, and so we've been uh, one of the main producers of Poonchki for a long time. And one of the best, oh, not yeah. to be biased or anything, <laughs> but they are pretty good. After witnessing <laughs> what happened today, you know, I can clearly say pretty that. Pretty incredible. Oh, yeah. oh, you can't beat a fresh Poonchki. Oh, absolutely. So speaking of Poonchkis, where did the tradition of Poonchki come from? You know, what kind of started that and why did you start making them? All right, well, this is a Polish tradition. It's been around for a very long time, since the middle ages in fact and back then it was just before the start of the Lenten season it was a way for people to use through some of those uh, more decadent ingredients that were in their houses that they were supposed to start fasting and they didn't want to have the sugars and some of the fruit fillings and things on hand and tempt them wow that's amazing I never would have thought you know that <laughs> that's where it yeah. came from <laughs> yep. my question is has they have they always been as good as they are today <laughs> you know, that's a good question. I would assume probably not. I'm pretty sure it's evolved over time, but a lot of the traditional fillings and things are still out there. Like we use prune and we have lemon as well at our stores, and those are two of the traditional flavors. Awesome. Wow. So how many flavors are you guys producing this year? Well, we've got 14 different flavors, and uh, we brought back the Death by Chocolate that we ran last year because it was really popular with people. And then we've also introduced a strawberry cheesecake one for this year. Awesome. Sounds so There's good. There's so many flavors, Phil. You have to have a favorite. My favorite is the cream cheese, but it kind of varies once in a while. I'll be like, no, I really want a raspberry today. So it's, it's hard to pick just one. So it kind of depends on the day. Yes. Nice. Completely understandable. I'd want to try them all if mm -hmm. I could. I but think we should. <laughs> I know. And we have some to sample, which is why we're going to be doing a part two mm -hmm. for this segment. We're going to give you a little bit of a tour of the, the facility and trying them to see which one I'm we so like excited. best. I know. I know. We can come here and not try them. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining Thanks, us. Phil. We really appreciate it and giving us this tour it was amazing appreciate having you guys in you know i've been dancing my whole life and never been inside this part of qd so huh? cool awesome. behind the scenes ready to try some pooch keys i know Let's i know it. so make sure you stick around for part two that will be coming up in the next hour but for now we're going to take a short break while we were so busy touring the QD Bakery, we forgot to record an open for part two, so I'm back in studio now. But before we left, we got a tour and a taste test of some poonchkis. <laughs> Donut Wonderland. All right, well guys, this is where we start at, and there's a bunch of dough piles here that get ready to go into the hopper of this machine and then it comes down through and goes on the conveyor belt. You have this spot where there's an aerator, and what this is is it's, it's uh, puncturing the dough so it allows it to rise easier once it enters into the proof box up ahead. You look like somebody I used to see in high school. Really? That would go like this with the mac and cheese. <laughs> Inside this proof box, there is uh, time temperature controlled and humidity controlled so that the yeast products will rise at the appropriate uh, timing and that way when it gets through the box, it's a nice fluffy uh, piece of dough rather than that little small puck that we saw at the beginning. So what's your favorite type of donut? I gotta have the chocolate on top, the chocolate icing okay. with the rainbow sprinkles. Yum. No filling? No filling. Okay. Very good. Here's where it's dropping down into the fryer. And uh, so it's going into some very hot oil at this point. And uh, these just go floating along. 
and as you see about the halfway point, once it's about half cooked, it automatically flips it over and finishes cooking the opposite side. Also, this is where you start to smell them a little bit too. Which oh yeah, is, this is where smell incredible. you get that delicious fried product smell with right. the sweet uh, dough. It definitely, definitely smells good. I do smell that. That's a good brewski right there. I get hungry. And then it enters up here into this uh, glazed waterfall, mm -hmm. as I like to call it. It's like a chocolate fountain, but yeah. icing. <laughs> this nicely coats all these pushki and makes them even more delicious. I just want to, you know, just I'm not gonna. <laughs> and as they move on down this line, there's some cooling fans that cool off these hot products. And then they work their way around to the filling station. I'm not gonna lie to you, this is like the size of the jar of jelly my dad has in our fridge at home. <laughs> We're lost. Very easy to Phil? get lost here. There he, is. there he is. These guys are working on filling the pushki as they come down and they've cooled off some. And uh, they put the, the right kind of filling in for what's being produced right then. And then uh, it's a process where they slide it on, gets a measured amount of filling into each one, and then they have to uh, pull it off and rack it up. It's a lot of yeah, it's all about a rhythm. back in studio to do what we promised. We have to try some poonchkis. And they gave us way more than we needed, so I'm very excited so to eat. So many. How can seven. I pick? How can I pick? Seven. Seven. You get three. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take three. All right, well, the big moment, we have to open up the box. We haven't even opened the box yet. We've been waiting to film this. <laughs> ready? Are you ready? Wow. They look so good. So well, good. Pick your favorite. I don't know. I don't know. I've been back and forth. I've been talking about this for like 20 minutes. Which one will I pick? Oh, wow. He's just going mm. for it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Is it good? Woo. Which kind did you get? Uh, cream cheese. That's the kind you wanted. Mm. I'm jealous. Oh, man, Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. What kind is this one? No, I think that one's apple. I'm going to do this one. <laughs> I'm gonna Isn't do it good? this cinnamon sugar. Yeah. Ooh, with a raspberry mm. or strawberry. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Wait, have you seen it? The one guy's on YouTube, the dink it and sink it. <laughs> oh no, I'm not, but I'll still do it. Dink it and sink and it. Sink it. Mm. If you haven't gotten punches yet, you seriously need to. It's These so are good. Um, insane. We got a chocolate one in here, but I gotta save that for Tiana. Do you know that one's for you? Tempting, but I didn't go for that one. Mm -hmm. But so many different flavors, and it's fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this two-part segment of Poonchkis and the Quality did. Dairy Bay. Yes, we mm -hmm. had so much fun. But for now, oh my gosh, I'm still chewing and swallowing because I, it's just so good. But for now, we're going to send it over to a short break, and we'll be right back.